In this video, we learn how to estimate the mean of grouped data using the mid-values or midpoints of the groups. And to do that, we're going to work through the example we see here, in which we're told that a class of 35 students checked how many spare pages they had left in their notebook. And the results are summarized in the table shown here. We're then asked to estimate the mean number of pages left. Looking at the frequency table we have here, we can see that there were two students who had anything between 30 and 34 pages left, one student who fell between 35 and 39 pages left, three students who had between 40 and 44 pages left, and so on and so forth. And to calculate the mean number of pages the students had left, the first thing we need to do is add a mid-value column to our table. Here's what I mean. I'll quickly add a new column to the table, like this, and I'll quickly add the corresponding rows. Okay, and at the top of this column, I'll write mid values, mid values. And in any formula, we'll typically refer to these mid values as x. All right, what we want to enter into each of these cells is the mid value of each of the groups we have. Another way of saying that is we want to add the mid value of each of these class intervals. So for this first cell here, we want the mid value between 30 and 34. And perhaps you can tell right away that that's 32, but if ever you have a bit of trouble finding the mid value directly, you can calculate it by calculating the mean of the lower bound and the upper bound. So for the first class we have here, that's 30 to 34 pages, the mid value would be 30 plus 34, over 2, which equals to 64, over 2, which equals to 32. And so 32 is the mid value of the interval 30 to 34. And doing the same for each of the groups we have here will quickly lead us to the following. We'll have 32, 37, 42, 47, 52, 57, 62, and 67. And now that we have all of the mid values, we can calculate the mean with the following formula. The mean is equal to the sum of each of the frequencies times its corresponding x value divided by the total number of values n. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that. Do make a note of this formula if you hadn't seen it before. Now, if ever you find this notation a bit confusing, here's what this means. On the numerator, we need to multiply each of the frequencies with its corresponding x value, so 2 times 32, 1 times 37, and so on and so forth, and add all of those results together. Another way of saying that is we need to multiply each frequency by its corresponding mid value and add all of those together. Then this denominator n is telling us to divide the result we get by the total number of values, so in this case, the total number of students. So the mean value is equal to 2 times 32 plus 1 times 37 plus so on and so forth, all the way to 6 times 67, so that would be 2 times 32 plus 1 times 37 plus 3 times 42, and so on and so forth. And all of that is divided by the total number of values we have. And in this case, we were told that there were 35 students in this class. But if ever you're faced with a question in which you're not told how many values there are, then at the bottom of the frequency column, you want to write a total value, like so. Then, adding up all of the frequencies you have, you'll have the total number of values. So in this case, that would be 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, and by all means check, but that's equal to 35. And so on the denominator here, we'd write 35. All we have to do now is calculate everything on this numerator and divide the result by 35, and we'll get the mean value. But let me point out something quite important. The numerator we have here quickly gets very, very long. In fact, if our table were just a bit taller, I wouldn't be able to fit the numerator on the page. Consequently, rather than writing long numerators like this one, it's usually best to add an extra column to our table in which we write the result of multiplying each frequency by its corresponding mid value. And I'll do that here. I'll just add another column, like so, and I'll extend the rows again. 
and at the top of this column I'll write f times x, where f is each of the frequencies and x corresponds to each of the mid values. So for this first cell that would be 2 times 32, so that's 64, we'll then have 1 times 37, which is just 37, 3 times 42, and so on and so forth. And in doing so we quickly obtain the following. Each of the values inside this column corresponds to the result of one of the multiplications that we have on our numerator here. And since we need to add them all together, we create a new total box at the bottom of this column, in which we write the result of adding each of these values together. And do check, but adding all of these together, I find that that's equal to 1855. And so the mean is equal to 1855 divided by 35. And by all means check, but I find that's equal to 53. And that's the answer. And so the mean number of pages left is 53 pages. And there we go, that's how we can estimate the mean for grouped data.